guys, welcome back. <laughs> I don't know why is your leg all the way in the sky, babes. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Hilia Hilia Kui. And if it is your first time stopping by, then you are most definitely welcome to stay. If you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, I don't know what you're doing with your life, you really don't. But I can know what you're doing with your life, obviously, by subscribing to my YouTube channel and watching the videos that I drop. So today I am back with another story time. Seeing as you guys liked my other story time, I thought, you know, why not make this a regular thing on my channel where I tell you guys stories about my life and I am joined by a special someone because, you know, just for the vibes. Hey guys, my name is Joyce. Y'all know me. I've been in a couple of videos, a couple of videos here and there. I'm back. Is this like story time number two? Yeah, story time number two. Yes. So if you like the video, please give it a massive thumbs up and also comment down below because guys we hit like 1000 subscribers and that was like really big for me so please keep um subscribing and commenting down below yes. so yeah where do we start yeah so, so 2017 the year was 2017 and it was african's child's day or was the day after the I day before it was the day after before so we were part of the committee for the namibian society at uct hosted an event and we invited the dog to perform at our event because we thought it would be really cool if a Namibian artist could perform for us in Cape Town and Mr. the dog I call him Mr. the dog Hi. I don't know like I just feel like he's so grown you know like big man big man Mr. Maraki yes Mr. Martin Maraki some respect on his name you know but yeah so we invited him and he came to perform for us and we hosted him in Cape Town for um one night i think because he was already in cape town yeah, yeah. so we extended his stay by one night he and his dancers and yeah we the event was going well you know it, uh, we held it in observatory in cape town it was a nice cute little cafe right cafe ganesh yeah i'll never forget that place because i'll never go back yeah <laughs> oh so this was the setup right um you have the cafe and then you have like a restaurant so during the day both are open so you get like an entrance to the cafe and then you get an entrance to the restaurant and then at night they close the cafe and only the restaurant works so in order to get to the cafe you have to go through the restaurant pass through like a back door type vibe thing and then only can you get to the cafe so we were using the venue which was the cafe that usually closes down to host our event right yeah yeah so that's what we were doing and we had like a whole set up with like speakers um microphones we had like you know those multicolored um lights and we had a little game night yeah, as yeah, well we had like, before. like we were doing a lot and it was fun, it was fun until it wasn't fun anymore <laughs> y'all so we you know we had fun maybe we're starting to pack up hey yeah and mind you ne? mind you like everything was just out there like all our equipment the mics and phones laptops every little thing was like out there on stage you know like how you yes and you know we're trying to make everything look professional was for mr the dog was you know like no you know like you must know that the number of students in cape town are serious about their lives so <laughs> we're starting to pack up i think it was like no guys before we started packing up remember i kept saying guys let's pack up but no yeah. one was listening we were having the time listening. of our lives yeah. we're like we're not leaving we're at the time of life yeah, and at that now. time i was president so i was like no guys um it's a bit too late let's we pack up listened. let's leave people don't want to listen to me i'm like okay they should have fine. listened let's keep going <laughs> so um people are packing up and then hey hey and then guys restaurant side <laughs> What was it that broke first? Was it the glass? I don't know if it was a glass. I know there was a, like, a quick, quick commotion. And then obviously the Orach people, they must. Yeah, we ran to the ran restaurant. Ran to go check with Chauzet. What's happening? Hey. Guys. Hey, hey. When these guys came back, they were like, y'all, everybody go down. And we're yeah. like. I remember it was Sean. It was Sean and Sheku. <laughs> Sean and Sheku came running into the cafe from the restaurant saying, everybody go down and keep quiet. 
I'm like, what do you mean go down and keep quiet? Like for what reason? Like go down and keep quiet. We're like, okay. We're like, okay. We're like, okay. And then who said that they were someone said that there are so five guys. Five guys with five guns. yeah, with five so guns. Each one had a gun. Yeah. Robbing the restaurant and um they were making their way yeah. to us. So we needed to be quiet. And the moment when I heard that guys I froze. Like <laughs> To like literally drag this girl down. I'm I like, threw. girl, I was like, down. ain't nobody trying to move. die. Like people were there. Like people are running. People are busy like lying flat on the ground. And I was just standing there like, Dakukuta, my Guys. dear. Like I was frozen. I was like, I couldn't process what was going on. I was Yo. like, what? In my Yo. head, eh? all I could think about was, oh my god, I'm probably gonna die today. And oh my god, finally I convinced my mother to get me an iPhone. And after two years. <laughs> Now it's gonna go because someone's gonna take the iPhone. Now how is she gonna buy me another iPhone if my iPhone is gone? <laughs> the struggles, like you know, what goes through your mind in that moment here, yeah? like I was know, like five guys, five guns, like it's done. Like, I haven't seen one, like you know when we, I mean I've seen one but like never loaded. But like you see, you anyway. So I was frozen, and then Joyce <laughs> was the one that was like, bruh. <laughs> Girl, shit, like, let's go down. Let's go down. Bruh, that time I'm like, I don't even have boots, so I can't even put my phone in my boots. I'm like, do I put my phone in my like, pants? No. Or like, <laughs> I'm like, I can't lose this phone because how do I explain to my mother that number one, I wasn't in my house in the night. Number two, I got robbed and my iPhone is gone. <laughs> oh, guys. Mind you, I didn't even have my phone on me. My phone was chilling on the stage. Yeah, literally. It was in the open. Oh, guys. It was a phone. Who, I don't know whose laptop we used. There was there a lot of stuff, and it was, was expensive. And, my and we hired equipment, and that shit was expensive. So if we lost <laughs> that equipment, we were gonna be liable oh, to man. pay for it. Anyway, long story short, we went down, guys. We went down. Um, well, like, we, we remained quiet. We switched off the lights. Um, lucky for us, I don't think that they noticed. We didn't switch off the lights. We left the lights on there. With the light, no, the lights we were on. The colored ones were on. Oh, the color. Okay, yeah, the colored ones. The were colored ones, were, ones were on. Yeah, were on. And then I don't know if they didn't notice that there were people in the bank. I don't bank think they did. Because they were busy like taking phones, taking people's money, snatching people's wigs. You know. <laughs> <laughs> they were snatching everything in the restaurant. Gone. And. Bruh, guys, you are all I you can know, think about now was I'm so young, like I can't die. Like, <laughs> you know what was what you know in that moment, you your heart's racing when you're thinking like, okay, what am I gonna tell my mom, whatever, and you know that the there's a there's like an open window, not an open yes. window, but there's there's a window clear there, glass, it's like, clear, yes. it's clear glass, so you can see onto the street, and y'all. I have seen this in movies. I was like waving to the people. Yes, and the people the walking popo. outside. Call the popo, and they're just like, what the hell? They're We're looking like, at us like, the popo, call the pop, call the police, call the police, and they're just like, some were confused. Other people saw it, and some people, some people probably just ignored. You know, they're like, this is none of our business. Yeah, this is not our business. <laughs> moving, like, Let's keep them going. I'm trying to die. Bad. We're trying so, to do this. They're probably even kidding. Like, yeah. tell the people where was our artist. During this, That's a this dog is a stick up. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the he dog really was, was sitting unbothered. by the couch, unbothered. Like everyone is hiding, and this guy's <laughs> like, "Come for me, I will beat you. <laughs> like I will murder you. Like try to come for me. You try to come for me. I got a wife and kids. I will beat the shit out of you." This guy was chilling, unbothered on the couch, like this, looking at us, thinking, "These hoes are crazy." <laughs> Y'all are just the group of scaredy cats, man. Come on, so I am up. I was just so shook that this guy was like unbothered. He's like, ah, oh, whatever. Like, this is nothing. Yeah. And then um, I think someone in the restaurant, one of the bartenders or whatever, had called, um, had pressed the alarm. So luckily, when they were done, they weren't even done. So probably right. when they were almost done robbing, the alarm system went off. Because the only the only reason they didn't come for us was because they had to leave. Yeah, and they must have heard the alarm the system alarm. go off. Yeah, y'all. These people just left, right? They robbed people. Mind you, this was like what 2017. So this is when the yeah, iPhone 8 came out. Yeah. So these, it's people with a brand new iPhone. Y'all, people probably had it for like two days. Gone. Two days gone. 
your money flew out the window. Wings Just gone. <laughs> Stands with gone. gone. Everything gone. gone. So yeah, so then they left. Um, the police came, I think. I went into the restaurant to go see what was happening and guys there was like literally people standing by the door like crying this girl like i remember this girl was shaking so bad because they took her money they took her phone they took her everything and she's like i just want to go home can someone please just call me an uber like i just want to go and this girl is shaking shame. and i'm just like shame like if that was me you know in this stamina like on my sticker like i would have been wait because wow and so bad. yeah that was what happened um we were almost robbed but we weren't really like robbed yeah luckily man luckily we were lucky robbed. yeah let me just tell you that the way we packed once those guys left yeah like it was quick like, quick we we were taking our time hey because <laughs> nobody wanted to leave no we were done within five time. minutes and you know this lady told us she's like can you please leave the chairs and the tables the way you found them no, no. yeah and i'm busy like i'm busy saying guys we can't leave without the table People were like, listen, lost the phone like, on scan. <laughs> we're going. Yeah, people were like, yeah, leave the chairs. I'm like, go away, guys. We promised the lady we we're going to leave like, the chairs the way we found them. We can't leave the things like this. Everyone starts leaving. I'm like, fuck okay. you guys can't leave me here alone. Like, what the fuck? We need to pack the chairs. No one packed. We literally left. People like, snatched me and they're like, let's go. Let's like, go. we don't care. Let us leave let us exit the building so we left no. um we went outside obviously we packed the equipment and stuff into the cars mm -hmm. we had and then we apologized profoundly to mr <laughs> the dog <laughs> aka king tiddy and he was like ha 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 that's nothing i was like ah yeah, yeah. this guy was so yeah, unbothered like GD, man the dog my heart rate was through the roof and he's just like mm, it's a breeze it's, it's, a breeze. it's, it's normal fun. he was like wait from here where's the after nothing fun new <laughs> Yo, I was like, I just want to get to my bed. At home, bro. <laughs> In my bed. Yes. So With they, my belongings. Yeah, but no, like we went home, but I think the dog and um the dog, his dancers and some of the guys from the com, yeah, um went out we went for to... an after party. Not an after party. I think they went to a club. I think they went to Long. Yeah, they went to Long Street. And um, that was it. I went home. Um, never again do I go back to Cafe Ganesh. Like, I even sit on Uber Eats. I don't bother um, ordering food from there. Every time I drive past it, I get the Triggering. chills. Um, Triggering. Yeah. Even sometimes when I'm in a restaurant, like in the night, at the back of my mind, I'm just like, what if people walk in with like yeah. guns or whatever? Not that it happened to like me specifically, but you know, like I was there and yeah. it's sort of scary. So. Sometimes I'm just a bit like, I'm always like on edge, man. You know, I'm always like looking around. I'm like, hmm, that dodgy people walking outside. Um, but yeah, no, guys. It was quite rough. Yeah. I couldn't even go home and call my mother and tell her what happened because how was I going to start explaining? Kusha, on dying day, you way in the night, way and why? So I was just in my own thinking, Lord, why? Like, why do things happen? Why like why is life like this and I don't think my mom even knows. I haven't told my mom this. Yeah, my mom also doesn't know and maybe she'll watch this and she'll know. Mom, I was almost dropped at gunpoint, point my dear. Anyways, um that was it. The following day um we took the dog to the airport, him and his crew and came home and yeah, we've been living normal lives ever since. <laughs> um all I can say is stay safe kids, don't go out in the night and if you are gonna go out, go to a place that has um, security. Oh, okay. That's okay. a bit extra. Okay. But, um, yeah. Okay. So, if you like the video, please give it a massive thumbs up and comment down below. What should they comment? Tell us if you've ever been, been robbed. robbed. Yeah. yeah or and what you did in the situation seen a robbery or if you've helped people you know also like if you've seen a robbery happen and you've helped yeah. people literally i watched the funniest um robbery story on alma's channel the never being crazy and girl <laughs> shout out to you girl i actually leave that video in the description box like you guys should go check out that video because at the it. same time like it's so funny but it's so sad at the same, at the same time because her cousin left her brother and it was caught on camera you know like like the, oh, the streets um, her and yes, her cousin, no, I'm, I'm, watching. Watching. <laughs> I'm sorry and 
think I made a U-turn right and left the girl there. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Like wow, well, I'm so sorry. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys in my next video where I might be announcing a giveaway. Maybe, maybe not. Um, also, if you would want to win something, what would you want to win? Um, like what prize would you want to win? Because I am having a giveaway. Thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. I want to give back to the um, family. And so comment down below what you would want to win if you were to win the giveaway that I will be announce it because i still don't have a price i'm still trying to figure out what i want to give away but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye